I'd like to spend some time on some case studies, because I know there were people interested in that. And these are always fun. We'll start with some Google ones. So this is um, a product from Google called Picasa. It helps you organize your digital images, also free. Um, and this was our standard landing page. Um, so if you were to search for digital picture organizer and you saw an ad for Picasa, we'd take you here. And it follows a lot of best practices that we, we've learned, which is uh, emphasizing the, the price uh, picture of the, of the product. Um, and it has you know, very active words, find, organize, share, things like that. Then we decided to run a website optimizer test. And we actually did a multivariate test. And the basic difference between an A, B, and a multivariate is the A-B test is where you split the traffic to entirely different URLs. So we just redirect, say, half of the traffic to a different page that you publish. Multivariate is where you add tags within the page. And we actually start creating different recipes for a single page. So we can say, well, I'm going to try three different headlines and four different images and five different buttons. And then we create. Uh, four times five times three combinations of that page for you. And that all happens from our technology. You just add some tags to that single page. So that's a little bit fancier. AB, to be out honest with you, is the one that's going to get you the most benefits, where you create two very different pages and just split the traffic among them. Uh, one of the things that I'm going to tell you about is the more complicated the test is, generally the less ROI you're going to get for it. Um, so you want to be very simple but bold tests as opposed to trying to slice and dice you know, 2 million versions of the page. This was another version of the page that none of us thought would do well, because it didn't have the image. It didn't really have the big free as much as the other one did. Right? This one had the big free link. And you know, someone also wrote an article a couple years ago about how hyperlinks always do better than buttons. Um, but we found that this design increased our downloads by 30%. Right? So by making this, this change was not that hard. We just took away an image and added a button for the most part. We played around with the headline. But if you're running a, a tight ship, there are two ways to increase your downloads by 30%. Well, probably more, but there's two that I can think of. One is to increase your spend by 30% and buy more clicks from the PPC networks. That's fine. Um, <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Uh, another way is to increase your conversion rate. And so in fact, if you increase your spend by 30% on ads and your conversion rate by 30%, then you get a multiplicative benefit. So um, if, you were to increase, if you were to double your conversion rate or double your spend independently, you would double your sales. If you double both, you would uh, increase your sales by four times. So that's Nirvana for us, if you increase your conversion rate and your investment in advertising. But even if you just did the conversion rate, you're going to be well off, much better off. 